So every once in a while, you come across a piece of merch that absolutely blows your mind. And that's exactly what happened to me when I came across these Harry Potter book pillows. Hello lovelies, my name is Mamta and welcome to my channel Geek Glitz in which I talk about all things geek and all things glitz. So I make all sorts of fandom videos but mainly Harry Potter. So feel free to browse through my channel to check out some of my past videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. So since I'm a Harry Potter merch collector, I do like to browse through Etsy sometimes to see what kind of items they have because I'm always in awe of unique creations. And I happen to come across this tour called Brassington Hollow a couple of months ago and they make some book pillows and by looking at their store I realized that they don't only do book pillows they do Harry Potter book pillows as well so I had to go ahead and place an order so it's kind of hard to describe what exactly is a book pillow without showing it to you guys so I'm gonna do that in just a second but first a couple of details each of the Harry Potter book pillows was for 35 US dollars and the whole set of seven was for 210 US dollars which is what I got so I am gonna link to the Brassington Hollow website below in my description in case you guys wanted to check out these book pillows for yourself and they do do other designs besides Harry Potter as well so now without further ado let me show you these awesome book pillows so first up I've got the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone book pillow and I just adore this color. It's like a burnt orange color and that's like for the background of the book. And then in the center, it's got like a Hogwarts crest shaped cutout with the Sorcerer's Stone cover from the US cover coming through. And then it says Harry Potter in its iconic font, JK Rowling over here. And then on the spine, it says Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, JK Rowling. And it says Brassington Hollow because it's by Brassington Hollow. And then on the back, you've got more of the Sorcerer's Stone book cover with this little owl that's flying. So what makes this a book pillow is that it's made of fabric and it's got like a foam part in the center to give it its book form. So this part feels like a quilt and it can be open and I'm going to show you that in a second. But first, let's just check out the pages of the book. And this is incredible because it's got all kinds of Harry Potter spells just written along it and it kind of gives it a pages type of look but it's just a very very cool detail so you can see spells like stupefy, enervate, priori, incantato, deletrius, reparo and I love that it's in like different fonts and it just like it's very nicely lined up to give it that effect of it being pages and it goes along the bottom of the book as well and as well as the top. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the front cover of this book pillow and reveal the awesome inside. And it is just incredible. It's got the first page of chapter one of Sorcerer's Stone and it says the boy who lived. So that iconic start to this wonderful series is printed on the first, on the inner part of this book pillow basically. And it looks awesome. And then on the inside of the front cover, there is a Hogwarts Express ticket and it looks awesome. It's made of fabric, it's sewed on and it says London to Hogwarts for one way travel platform nine and three quarters. So such an incredible detail. This is like an iconic part of Sorcerer's Stone, the Sorcerer's Stone tale. So it makes a lot of sense that this comes with this book. All right, so next up, I've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, of course, and this also looks so incredible. I love the dark red color of the book background. It, of course, is very similar to the Sorcerer's Stone. It's the same type of textured design, and I just love that design because it kind of gives it a very old book type of feel, like that very, very old leathery type of book feel. And, um, of course, it is fabric, though, but it just looks like that. And then, of course, it's got the Chamber of Secrets US cover design coming through the Hogwarts crest and we've got Harry Potter and JK Rowling same as the first book Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the spine JK Rowling Brassington Hollow again and then the back cover has more of the Chamber of Secrets book cover and once again we've got Harry Potter spells lined up along the pages and once again we can open up the front cover of this book pillow and it reveals chapter one of Chamber of Secrets the worst birthday and then on the inside of the front cover we've got a phoenix feather it's like a fabric 
cutout of the phoenix feather because the phoenix was such a large part of chamber of secrets and next up i've got harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban book pillow and oh my god i am loving the shade of purple for the book background it looks gorgeous so we've got the prisoner of azkaban us cover coming through the hogwarts crest cutout in the front and then again the spine has harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban jk rowling Rassington hollow and then the back has more of the Prisoner of Azkaban book cover. Since all the Harry Potter book pillows have the similar design for the book pages with the Harry Potter spells, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to showing you the inside of the cover. So the inside shows chapter one of Prisoner of Azkaban and it says Alpost. That's the chapter. And then on the inside, this is awesome. It is a fabric Marauder's Map because the Marauder's Map was a huge part of Prisoner of Azkaban. So I love this. You can actually like open up the flap and like this flap as well. And then you can see a little printout of the map, which is such a cool detail. And then I've got the book pillow of my favorite Harry Potter book, which is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And this is in a lovely shade of green. I am loving the design and background of this and that's very reminiscent of the original US cover of Goblet of Fire because that was also a green cover. So you could see Goblet of Fire, the original book cover coming through this Hogwarts crest cutout. Again, Harry Potter, JK Rowling, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and JK Rowling on the spine and Bressington Hollow. And then the back of the book pillow has more of the Goblet of Fire cover. And then the inside of this book cover reveals chapter one of Goblet of Fire, which is the Riddle House. And it's got the parchment that says Harry Potter that came out of Goblet of Fire. So this is the piece of parchment that determined that Harry Potter was to take part in the Triwizard Tournament, which is such an iconic part again of the tale. So I love that she decided to go with this detail for the inner cover. And then next up, I've got Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And this book pillow is giving me serious Ravenclaw vibes because of the vibrant blue color. It looks so pretty. And of course, it is very similar to the original US book cover for Order of the Phoenix. So we've got the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix original cover, like picture of Harry coming through the Hogwarts crest in the center. And then the spine again is similar to the other books in that we've got the title and the author and then Bressington Hollow. And then the back of course has more of the original US book cover. And then the inside of the book pillow reveals the first chapter of course, which is Dudley Demented. And I love this photo of Harry lying among the bushes, listening to the news outside of Privet Drive, um, outside of the Dursley house, I mean. And then the inside cover has a parchment made of fabric, of course, that says, I must not tell lies. And this is what Harry had to write over and over again in detention with Umbridge. And you can even see a splatter of blood here since when he was writing, there was blood coming out of his hand as he did it. So that is a cool detail. I mean, not a cool detail. It is a depressing detail, but you guys know what I mean. It is a very well done replica of the parchment. Next up, I've got the second to last book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which is in a gorgeous dark green shade. And that is similar to the original book cover as well. We've got Harry and Dumbledore, which was on the original book cover too, in the US book cover. And then on the spine, we've got the same details as we've been seeing for all the books. And then on the back, we've got more of the original book cover art. So the inside of this book cover reveals the first chapter, The Other Minister, and then the inner cover says this book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince because of course this entire book was about the Half-Blood Prince and Harry's copy of the advanced potion making. So that is a cool detail. And then the very last book cover I have is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And this is in a lovely orange color for the book background. And I know it looks very similar to Sorcerer's Stone, but this is actually a lighter shade. And I'm actually going to bring out the Sorcerer's Stone book so that we just can compare the shades so you can see this is more dark. It's almost kind of brownish compared to this. So they are different shades. So once again, we've got the spine details. And then here is the back cover. And then the inside of this book pillow reveals chapter one, the Dark Lord Ascending. And I love this chapter art again of Voldemort with Nagini surrounding him. And then the inner cover shows a Deathly Hallow symbol. 
And I love that. And it makes a lot of sense because this book is called Deathly Hallows and it was a large part of the story as well. So of course it does make sense to include this as the detail for this book. So I really had to get all seven of the book pillows together because they look fabulous as a set. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this close look at these Harry Potter book pillows. I absolutely adore them and I can't wait to display them. I haven't made up my mind yet where I'm going to put them. I might put them on my Harry Potter shelves or possibly on this blue couch or possibly on my bed. So I'm still kind of figuring it out, but I know no matter where I choose, it's going to look awesome. And just a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored. It's not an ad. I bought these book pillows myself and I was just really excited about them. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So do let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these book pillows and which of these were your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel Geek Glitz for more things geek and more things glitz as I make videos every Friday. And feel free to connect with me on any of my social media. I've listed them all below in the description. I've got a Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So come say hello as I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching lovelies. See you in the next video. Bye.